Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss random variable. In this session, we are moving into the distribution or the statistic part, where we'll start with random variable. We'll see what is this random variable and other terms related to this. Well, in terms of in terms of definition, the value of random variable I'll I'll be writing in short R V. The value of R V is determined by the outcomes. Of the experiment, and we can check for possibilities of different. values of r v so let's see what is this basically random variable for example if i'll i'll say and we'll come to that example also so if i say we are tossing two fair coins we are tossing two fair coins and x like generally this random variable will, will be denoted by x or y or like that so tossing two fair coins the outcomes on the coins can be head and tail right and possibly we can have zero number of heads or one number of heads or two number of heads we cannot have anything apart from that so this random variable let's define this random variable to be x is equal to number of heads appearing so the value of random variable is determined by the outcomes of the experiment that means this this that uh, tossing two fair coins will have the outcome tail tail it will have tail head it will have head tail and it will had have head head so that will determine the value of x is going to be zero number of heads one number of heads or two number of heads right so it can be determined by the outcomes of the experiment and this random variable can be discrete random variable and it can also be continuous random variable right it can be discrete that means it has to be 1 2 3 or it can be continuous like all the possible values between 1 and 2 and 3 and like that so there is another term which is probability mass or i'll say let's start with probability density function probability density function so what is this density function this is nothing but the likelihood that x that random variable will take that value of the sample so like i said the sample for tossing a two fair coin is x can be 0 x can be 1 x can be so the probability that x will take 0 will be the density function of x equal to 0 the probability that x will take 1 will give you the density function probability that x equal x will take equal to 2 so it defines the likelihood that the value of random variable would equal that sample so let's let's say we are checking for x equal to 0 that means 
the overall probability that x will take 0 will be the probability density function. Right? Now, this is generally denoted by P of x or F of x, generally in small P or F. And from the same from the same concept, we we define probability mass function. So this is defined for discrete random variable. This is not defined for uh, continuous random variable. This will be defined for only discrete random variable and this p like generally p will be denoted for a discrete and maybe f will be for continuous but it can be used for any of it so this p of a is given as probability that x will take value a right so this probability mass function is giving p, given as p of a is the probability that x will take that value a right then comes distribution function well this is nothing but the cumulative or uh, this is also known as cumulative distribution function that is CDF you may find it in terms of CDF probability mass function it may be written as PMF probability density function may be written as PDF so cumulative this is also known as cumulative distribution function and it is defined as f of x is nothing but p of x less than equal to x what is it let's say let's say that for the same example tossing two fair coins i'm saying what is the distribution function of f of x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 then they're saying it is the sum of the probability of x taking all the values equal or less than 1 now we had a discussion that uh, tossing two fair coins will give x either 0 1 or 2 right and if i am saying the probability of a uh, distribution function of 1 is probability of x less than equal to 1 which means it is probability of 0 and probability of 1 both so we'll have to add the probability of 0 and the probability of 1 both right so this is the distribution and the word says cumulative that means we'll have to add all the densities up to that x and also that x probability also now like we said the random variable can be discrete or continuous both so let's say if the random variable is discrete if it is discrete the probability function or probability density function f of x or p of x anything is given as pj if x is equal to xj where j is equal to 1 2 and so on right and it is 0 otherwise let's say let's say this random variable which is discrete x is taking values like x1 x2 and so on right with the probabilities like p1 p2 and so on right like like we were saying x uh, for tossing two fair coins the uh, x can take 0 1 2 and so on 0 1 2 that's it so probability of that x will be equal to 0 is this probability that x will be equal to 1 is this probability that x equal to uh, 2 will be this like this so the density function is given as p of j right 
and for this discrete random variable f of x like we said f of x is nothing but distribution function so this distribution function which is going to be probability of x less than equal to x will be sum of all the density functions let's say x j x j so we'll have to integrate uh, sorry we'll have to sum up this x j up to x getting my point distribution function for this random variable is going to be p probability of x taking all the values less than or equal to x so let's say let's say it is 1 x is equal to 1 so then we'll have to add the density functions up to x equal to 1 so what are the values coming below that it, it is x equal to 0 x is equal to 1 and like that right so otherwise we can also write sum of pj for xj less than equal to x that is sum up all the probability of pj for which xj is smaller than or equal to x right so this is the case of discrete values discrete random variable and in this case if the random variable is continuous let's say the random variable is continuous so in case of continuous random variable when we'll have to find the probability dense distribution function that is cumulative distribution function we cannot add it because it is not a discrete random variable it is continuous so in that case we'll have to like for x less than equal to x will become integration of f of x or we can write f of let's say v dv for minus infinity limit to x because this is the x so we have we are not putting x dx here right this is still the density function right this is still the integrand is you cannot write f of x dx because we are taking x as a limit so this is the limit this is a constant value right so f of v dv that means in the case of uh, ra uh, random variables we are doing the summation whereas in the case of continuous variable we'll be integrating it right and from this equation what we can do is we can find the density function as density function as differentiation of f of x differentiation of f of x now in case we have to find probability corresponding to some interval in that case p a less than x less than equal to b will be f of b minus f of a and if if the uh, random variable is discrete we can do this sum from a to b x being discrete and this can be written as integration from a to b f of v dv if x is continuous right 
if so we may have to find the probability for an interval so in that case what can we do is we can either find the sum for that interval for if it is discrete or we can do the integration for that limit if it is continuous overall overall the sum of all the densities let's say j should give 1 and integration of density for continuous function f of v dv should also give 1 that is sum of all probabilities of x should be 1 obviously because x can take some finite number of values and if we add all the probabilities of these values that it should give you 1 because that will be the entire sample space and similarly it is integral in terms of in case of continuous This is discrete this is continuous so basically the sum of all the probabilities if x is discrete will give you one and the integral of the probability density function for x if x being continuous will also give you one so that is like we are covering the entire region 